What do the parents of your students think of mathematics? G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to episode four of the blog. This week I'm discussing a research study entitled Intergenerational Effects of Parents' Math Anxiety on Children's Math Achievement and Anxiety. Bit of a mouthful. The researchers uh, used as, res as uh, participants children in grades one and two and their parents and they measured how anxious about mathematics the parents were and the students' levels of math achievement over a school year and their own anxiety. And they found that the more anxious the parents were and the more they helped with their children's homework, the more that was passed on to the children, so the more likely the children were to be anxious about mathematics and the less they learned over the school year. So I think this is a really important finding and something that every teacher can take note of and can strategically think about how to help their children by uh, communicating with parents about the math that they teach. So basically if parents were anxious that rubbed off on their own children so the children themselves became more anxious and the children learned less mathematics. It actually had a negative effect on how much mathematics they learned. Of course they balanced it out for other factors and so on. So they deduced from the results that if the parents were anxious and they helped, they reported that they helped their children with the math frequently, then they had an effect. But if they didn't help their children with math very often, then it didn't have the effect, which is what you'd expect, I guess. If they weren't talking to their children about mathematics, I guess the opportunity to say negative things like, oh, well, I don't like math, I find math difficult, I don't like math, it's hard to do, I wasn't any good at it at school, all those negative messages. If the parent's not helping the child with the homework, then there are presumably fewer opportunities to say those things. So it makes you wonder whether you should say to some parents, look, if you're anxious about math, please don't help. You know, back off, don't say anything to your child. Help them with reading, help them with other things, but leave the math to me. And maybe that is a strategy. But I think probably a better strategy is to talk to parents about this result and explain to them that if they um, act and speak negatively about mathematics in front of their children, that is likely to rub off. That researchers have measured this and have found that there is an actual effect on the learning of children if their parents say they are no good at maths and, and are anxious about it and so on. So to me this is um, really, it's fascinating, but it's also really important because it points to a way that we can think about how to help children with mathematics with relation to, with regards to how much help they get at home and what sort of help they get at home. And what math homework we send, if you've got mathematics that is challenging for parents, or is a new way of teaching mathematics, like for example in the United States, the Common Core is um, widely criticised by parents and not well understood by a whole lot of people. It may be that um, sending that sort of homework home to parents is not going to be a good idea if the parents of those children are themselves already anxious about mathematics. So quite fascinating. The researchers did check to see whether the parents' anxiety be about math had effects on other learning, and they said it didn't. Well, it was, they looked at reading specifically. They said it had no effect on reading at all. It only affect mathematics. So another message, just to finish, another uh, result that we can, another uh, conclusion that we can draw from this, in my view, is that if adults generally speak negatively about mathematics to children, that will have the effect of making the children more anxious about math themselves. And so we should be careful to speak positively and be enthusiastic and tell them how cool math is. And I go out of my way to tell them how much I enjoy mathematics and how much fun it is and um, just basically counter the negative messages that they may otherwise be feeling and hearing and saying themselves about the subject. So how do you deal with negative negativity about mathematics in your classroom? Do you have any suggestions for other teachers? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So um, do leave a comment below the video. If 
this is the first video of this series that you've seen, then do subscribe. There's a button below the video. You can sign up for notifications from me as well. I'll put a form on the page or a link to the form that you can just enter your email address and I'll make sure I send you emails about them as they come out. Uh, but that's it for this week. I look forward to talking to you next time.